What's up guys? Um so yeah, it's another sunny day in South Africa. Obviously I hope you guys know that's where I am. Um just taking the daddy van for a quick wash and I'm gonna try to show you guys if you have a positive attitude and you talk to someone with that positive attitude maybe you can influence them and make them feel good and yeah and hopefully you can uh, give that someone a bit of positivity for the day uh, I had a post on Facebook the other day where I uh, said um, positivity is contagious and, and then I challenged a few guys to just say something positive to someone and something positive to yourself and uh, let's see if we can get this person to you uh, experience some positivity today. What's up guys? So yeah, like I promised you, I'll do some uh, videos about how to repair a few things, install videos on your bikes, etc. Today we're going to look at setting your gears, where to start, and uh, I'll take you through it step by step. Alright guys, uh, so what we're going to do is, um, I'm basically going to show you where to start, uh, what to look at, and how we're going to do it. The first thing you want to do is um, actually loosen your cable at the back so we can see if the stoppers are right on the on the on the jockey itself. Okay, so after you've done that, basically you're gonna put back your uh, cable. Set your Allen key again. Make sure it's set uh, the tension is being released on your shifter so it's at the bottom or the lower gears. And just pull it not too tight but just gonna pull it a bit. Tighten it again. Make sure it won't slip. You don't have to super tighten this. I mean, it's just a cable that just needs to be in place. Just tighten it there. And then we're going to start actually shifting your gears. All right, so it's actually perfect at the moment. I'm just going to set it out. Just take the tension off of it so we can see if we can get something to set. All right. What happened now was I actually tried to set it. And you can hear there. I'll show you. You can hear that sound, so it doesn't want to go on there. So the thing is you're going to have to do is there's not enough tension on your cable to actually take it up. So what you're going to do is put some clockwise or uh, anti-clockwise tension on your cable. Not too much. I know how much I've taken out, so I'm just going to put the same amount back and then it should go on there. Alright. The thing you want to do is take it to the bottom gear again and then just start from the beginning to actually take it back and you'll basically do this, take it up your gears to the top bring it down again, make sure your tension is fine and that's the easy way to set your gears if, if the problem persists mention it down below in the comments and then what I'll basically do is I'll make a video for the more advanced things you can check like a derailleur hanger, maybe the tension on your pulleys um, any bent part of the derailleur we can sort that out but for this, this will be a short video just how to get your gears going. Alright, now time for some slow-mo action. Like I told you in one of my previous videos, um, there are a lot of mornings that I also need some motivation and uh, 
my wife actually sent me this message um, and I'm going to read to you guys there will be obstacles there will be doubts there will be mistakes but with hard work there are no limits and the only limit you can you can actually set are the, are the limits that you set yourself and um, yeah, just remember it won't be easy always um, there will always be people that doubt in you and you will make mistakes but as long as you learn from those mistakes stand up break through your limits um, oh, then there's nothing that can keep you back Now some time for some show over there, over there, show, what, slow, slow, yeah, stop on that. Now time for some...